we're asked to subtract. And we have the problem 68 minus 42. And what I want to do here is, one, just show you how I would do this problem, and then talk a little bit about why it actually works. So if I have 68 minus 42, one way to do it, and this is probably the most typical way, is to write the number you're subtracting from on top and write the number that you're subtracting from that number below that. So we're going to have 68 minus 42. And the thing you really want to think about, or that make sure you do, is that you want to align it according to place. So the 2 is below the 8, they're both in the 1's place. And the 4 is below the 6, they're both in the 10's place. And later in this video, it should be clear, or I'll hopefully make it clear, why, why that's a good thing to do. All right, so then we go to the 1's place. And we see an 8, and from that we're going to subtract a 2. So 8 minus 2 is 6. I'll write that over here. Write that over here. 8 minus 2 is 6. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. And then we go to the tens place. We have 6 minus 4. And since they're tens place, this is really 60 minus 40. But 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. And since these are in the tens place, this is really saying 60 minus 40 is equal to 20. And I'll make that a little bit clearer in a second. So we're actually done here. 68 minus 42 is equal to 26. And you can check that for yourself. If you add 26 plus 42, you should get 68. Or if you subtract 26 from 68, you should get 42. So I encourage you to do that on in your own time after this video. Verify that 42 plus 26 is equal to 68 is equal to 68. And also verify what 68 minus 26 is equal to. And you should see that it is equal to 42. So these are two things for you to check on your own. Now the last thing I want to do in this video is just explain in a little bit more depth why this actually works. And at least in my mind, I like to visualize 68. You won't have to write it out like this, but it's one way to make sure you really understand what's going on here. 68 is the same thing as 60 plus 8, or 60 and 8. And from that, we're subtracting 42. But 42 is the same thing as 40 plus 2. So we're subtracting 40. We're subtracting 40, and we're subtracting 2. We're subtracting 42. We're subtracting 40 and 2. And so you could view this as really two separate problems. You have, in the 1's place, you have an 8 minus 2. And that's exactly what we did over here. You have a 6. And then in the 10's place, you have a 60 minus 40, which is, which is 20. So you end up with 20 plus 6. And you know that that's the same exact, same, that's the same exact thing as 26.